Hello and welcome to DFS Coach Talk. Today is Saturday, July 30th, 2022. I am Joe Sarvati, affectionately known as Coach, and I am joined by the one and only Josh Crash Davis. Crash, how are you today? I'm doing well, Coach. I'm excited for you, for you to have this new uh, internet. You know, that's going to make a big difference for you, so that's going to be really good. Uh, oh, I'm so guy. fired I'm so fired up and it just got finished being installed. So I've got some monster speed. Yeah. So hopefully everybody sees the better quality, sharper picture, better sound, faster speeds all the way around. So I am loving it. Yep. Well, last night was not a fun night for me. Manoa getting smacked with that comebacker that right. you know, sort of summed up my whole night, but that's okay. You just, you know, with variants and things that happen like that, you know, it's it's going to happen. Yeah. And so now I'm just more focused on and a little ticked off, so I'm ready to go today. Yeah, and the Brewers couldn't get it going offensively. I mean, they were able to win and they scored some runs late, but a lot of small ball, you know, which I know that happens in that park, but I also expected a few home runs out to that short porch on the right side, so... Right. Maybe today will be the day for that to happen. I think it all comes together today. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm believing, and I'm going with it. So yeah. All right, we have 15 games, so we're gonna go really speedy, get through all of these, and then we'll do our regular pay up and value and fade pitchers, all our BVP stuff that we normally do. Um, we'll go through all of that, give you our prize picks, plays, our boom fantasy plays. And we will get you ready for a really busy day of baseball. All right, 15 games. There's only one game that I'm concerned about with weather, and that's the game in Atlanta. So we're going to follow that very closely. Mm -hmm. There's a good chance of some pretty heavy thunderstorms there. We'll follow that through the day, and we'll let uh, every, all our members know in Discord. And if there are any updates on conditions there, we'll also have them uh, posted on Twitter. If you want to follow us there and you haven't yet, it's at DFS Coach Talk. You can see below our names. I'm at Joe Sarvati and Crash is at JP Davis 1982. So real quickly, if you want to be a part of what we're doing here at Coach Talk, go to DFSCoachTalk.com. You can sign up for as little as a three-day package for $10. Or as you see scrolling across the bottom of your screen, we have our best deal of the year. Second half of MLB, which you get everything we have, both golf tours, MMA, uh, NASCAR, you name it, uh, we got it rolling. So check us out and jump aboard. We would love to have you. All right, here we go. 15 games. First game, 110, Guardians and Rays. Seven and a half is the total. It's Plezak at 7K against Kluber at 8.1K. 3.50 implied for Cleveland. Four for Tampa, and that's played in the dome in Tampa. 205, we have the Royals at the Yankees, total of nine. We have Heasley at 5.8K against Cortez, the lefty at 9.6K. A warm day in New York, 87 degrees, wind blowing out to right center at 87 miles an hour. We have a three implied total for Kansas City and a six for the New York Yankees. Wow. And I do have to mention something now that the Yankees are coming up. If you caught yesterday's podcast, I was trying to convince Crash that Aaron Judge was the best player in baseball. So what does he do? He robs a home run, and he hits a home run. So what about that? Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. he, you know what it is? He listened, and he heard that you liked Otani better, and so... I saw him point. He said, F you crash. Did you yeah. see that at the end? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll offensively have to give it to judge. I mean, you know, that's well, what about the, the Rob of the home run too. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, and he does do that um, quite often. So yeah, I had I mean, a laugh, they're, both, though, they're both because... incredible players and oh, they are. I mean, what is the, um, is it 70? Is that the all-time record now? Um, Bond said, I believe so. He's at 40. So I know. He's at 41. 41. And oh we're not even in the biggest yet. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. 
this is going to be a fun run to see what he does. But I had to mention it because I was I was chuckling uh, when I was watching. That's for sure. Yeah. All right, man. Now we're going to jump ahead to 307. It's the Tigers Blue Jays, Hutchison and 5.7K against Stripling, 7.4K. We have a three implied for Detroit and six for the Blue Jays. They keep getting these big implied totals. So we got a nine, nine in that game with six of them implied to Toronto. Your Brewers play at 410 uh, at Boston, nine and a half stat total. Lauer, of course, the lefty at 8.5K against Pavetta, 9.1K. Uh, both teams have a 4.75 implied total. So mm. this one is definitely up for grabs. Yeah. I was going to say I looked it up. It's 73. That's the record. 73. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's going to be uh, still 32 more in two months. That's a lot. <laughs> it's not like they can pitch around them much, though, I with know. all those guys behind them. Yeah. So. And that that porch out there on the right is so short in New York that, I mean, he just – that's, and he doesn't he hit cheap ones. He hits no. a lot of almost the damn stadium. So yeah, yeah, crazy. All right, six ten Mets Marlins. We have uh, Carrasco at eight point five k against Niedert at six point three k. It is uh, in the dome in Miami. Eights the total four point six three implied for the Mets. Three point three seven for the Marlins. 640, we have the Orioles at the Reds. It is uh, Kramer, 6.8K against Molly at 9K. Uh, we have 81 degrees, uh, no wind to, to speak of in Cincinnati. So a nice warm one. Both teams have a 4.50 implied total. Mm -hmm. uh, 710, now we get into the main slate. This is going to be the rest of these games will be uh, – main slate games for all three DraftKings, FanDuel, and Yahoo. So it's uh, this great series, Mariners at Astros, total of eight. Flexen at 8.1K against Valdez, the lefty 9.7K, 3.30 implied for Seattle, 4.70 for the Astros. 7.15, we have the Phillies and Pirates, seven and a half total in this game. Ranger Suarez, the lefty, 7.6K, against Mitch Keller at 8K, 4.10 implied for the Phillies, 3.40 for the Pirates. Also at 7.15, we have the Cardinals at the Nationals. Big number here, Crash, 10 is the over-under. 83 warm degrees in Washington, wind uh, slightly blowing out to right, not mm -hmm. very uh, much of a wind, but a breeze. Uh, Hudson at 6.6K against Fetty at 6K, 5.38 implied total for the Cardinals and 4.62 for Washington. So some definite good bats uh, in, in that game. Yeah. 7.15 as well, Twins at Padres, 7.5 total. Uh, Gray at 8.7K against Jumpin' Joe Musgrove, 9.6K. Uh, we have a 3.54 implied for Minnesota and 3.96 for the Padres. And as you would expect, beautiful day, 75, slight breeze in San Diego, uh, like it usually is. Mm -hmm. 715 game, another one is Oakland at Chicago, a total of eight in this game. Blackburn at 6.7K, who got absolutely rocked last time around yeah. against Cueto at 8.9K. Um, nice weather here, too, in Chicago, 78 degrees. A little breeze blowing in from dead center at 10 miles an hour. Uh, so that will help the pitchers a little bit. Uh, 3.50 implied for the A's, which isn't bad for them. 4.50 for the White Sox. All right, we've got 720, Arizona at Atlanta. This is a game we're worried about with weather. It shows at first pitch 60% chance of rain. It does decrease to from to uh, down to 36 and then 30. So it may be one of those that's a delay type of situation, but we will watch it very close. It's uh nine and a half total, so big number here. Mark mm -hmm. 
5.8K against Anderson, 6.9K. 3.76 implied for the D-backs, 5.74. Nice number for the Braves. 8.10, we ship over to mile high for, again, obviously a chalky Dodgers um, lineup here. Yeah. It's an 11 total in Coors Field. Uh, 88 degrees is the temperature wow. in Colorado. <laughs> That's scary. That is scary. Uh, poor Clayton Kershaw, <laughs> lefty 9.9K, has to pitch in Coors. And Freeland, the also a lefty, 7.5K. And 6.74 is the implied number for the Dodgers. Just, a, you know, they'll be stacked all over the place. 4.26 uh, for the Colorado Rockies. Definitely a key game. Mm-hmm. Last two on the slate, 9.05 and 9.07. So we don't have any super late games today. So are you drumming tomorrow? No, I'm no not. No drums. Okay. No. So you don't need that extra sleep, really. Yeah. But you may get an extra hour because it uh, no 10-10 games tonight. Mm. So 9.05, Cubs-Giants, total of eight. Smiley, the lefty, 6.8K against Junis, 7.7K. Only 58 degrees, as usual, in San yeah. Francisco. They have this, they call it a, a wind blowing out to left centered, 16 miles an hour, which we've sort of debunked that it really doesn't matter mm-hmm. uh, in San Fran. We always say that because when people see that, you know, some people that aren't used to it may say, oh, huge wind blowing out, wind game in San Fran. Yeah. Well, there's no such thing with the marine right. layer and it being cold there. The ball just doesn't fly. Yeah, did you see the the uh, flow chart they showed last night? No, of all the different directions. I mean, you had like forty different directions that the wind could be blowing in certain parts of the stadium, and it was insane. It just all <laughs> swirls around. It's same yeah. thing in Oakland. Both parks are the same. You know, yeah. it's, it's just you it can't like, trust it. It looked like a maze that they threw yeah. up on the screen. <laughs> Nuts. Yeah. 3.7 and 5 implied for the Cubs, 4.25 for the Giants. And the last game on the slate, 907, Rangers Angels. Eight and a half is the total here. Otto at 6.5K against Silseth at 6.3K. 78 degrees in LA. Slight breeze out to left center at nine miles an hour. 4.14, like I said, for the Rangers mm-hmm. and 4.36 for the Angels. So, that wraps it up, my friend. All right. Sounds good. Pay up pitcher. Let's fly into this for this yeah. slate on Saturday, July 30th. What is my your pay-, pay up pitcher? My pay up pitcher is going to be Joe Musgrove. He's 10-6 on wow. FanDuel, 9,600 on DraftKings. Uh, he's going to be feeling good because he just got that five-year, $100 million contract yesterday. I know. And, saw that. Uh, yeah, going up against Minnesota, they've been better against lefties. Um, he hasn't given up more than two runs in any start at home except for one bad start against Philadelphia in June. And righties are only hitting 219 against Musgrove. And as, as you know, this is a very right-handed heavy lineup. So uh, they're only projected to have one lefty in Luis Arias. So I think that uh, Musgrove is going to be my top option. Interesting. Okay, value. Value is going to be Ranger Suarez. He's 8,400 on FanDuel, 7,600 on DraftKings. Uh, We saw what Bailey Falter did against them last night. Eight strikeouts, only allowed two runs and six innings for 40 fantasy points. I think Suarez is a better pitcher than him. Um, He's had shutouts in each of his last two starts in, uh, in Miami and versus Atlanta. And they have the second highest strikeout rate at 25.7%. So if he can get, you know, instead of five, if he can get six or seven innings, I think we can get, you know, seven, eight strikeouts against the Pirates and be in that 40 to 45 fantasy mark where we want to be. So I like Ranger Suarez as my value play. Very nice. And who are you fading on this slate? I am fading Clayton Kershaw. Which wow. Last time I did this, he had that career game. So hopefully that won't happen. I'm leaning heavily on the course field factor here. Um, he's he's only scored 26.6 FanDuel points per game in his last five starts at course. So uh, Kershaw is going to be my fade. I know it's risky, but in course, and it's going to be, what, almost 90 degrees. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to trust that course field matchup 
and uh, fade Kershaw. I like it. I like it. For me, my payup pitcher today is going to be Fromber Valdez. Okay. 9-7 on DraftKings, 10-4 on FanDuel, and $47 on Yahoo. Do you know that it, I, I would challenge any pitcher in baseball to say they don't have a bad game in their last 13 starts. His worst game was a 31 score FanDuel points wow. uh, against Oakland three games ago. But other than that, and I'll just do this super fast, 45, 34, 31, 55, 49, 34, 40, 34, 37, 55, 34, 49, 48. I don't, I mean, you can't that's, get much more consistent than that. That's incredible. Yeah. And I, I'd not a, a stumble in there. So knock on wood, he does mm -hmm. the same thing today. Yeah. And he's been super steady for them. Nine and four with a 274. Doesn't get any support much, uh, but all, doesn't need a whole lot. 1.14 yeah. whip with 110 Ks. I will take from Valdez. Okay. For my value, I agree with you completely. Ranger Suarez, 7,600 on DraftKings, as you mentioned, way too cheap. 8,400 on FanDuel and only 36 on Yahoo. So mm. I really like the spot he's in for all the things that you mentioned. I think it's a good fit at a good price. Just a perfect SP2 uh, for this card. Yeah. For me, you're going to laugh at this one. My fate is Joe Musgrove. So, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. We're All butting right. heads here. Yeah. Um, and I, I know that he just signed the big contract, but sometimes that has a negative effect. You know, yeah, some guys can. relax a little bit. Yeah. And if you look at his last two starts, they were pretty bad. Mm -hmm. he, he only had 16 FanDuel points against the Mets, and he had 12 against Colorado. So you can excuse that. But he's had, you know, uh, five starts ago, he, he got – hammered by philly and only had three so yeah i you know i just felt he was overpriced at 96 10 6 and 46 so uh yeah a little bit different strategy but that's what i'm looking at for pitchers today okay all right sir who is your bvp play of the day uh it's probably going to be the same one that you have uh but it's going to be charlie blackman He's 3,900 on FanDuel, 5,400 on DraftKings. He's hit 304 against Clayton Kershaw, 21 hits in 69 at bats. Yeah. So huge sample size 14 singles, a double, two triples, and four home runs. So I'm going with Charlie Blackman for BBP. I think it's a great one. I didn't take him, though. I looked okay. at it. Yeah. I didn't take him, believe it or not, but I like the play. I went back to my. My weekend hero, it seems like he he bails me out every week. And I went to Jordan Alvarez again. Mm, yeah. I mean, you know, against Chris Flexen, who I like to pick on, he's only had 12 at bats. So I know it's super small sample size, you know, but he's hit two home runs against them, four hits. He's walked. Uh, so, you know, 12 18 OPS, 833 slugging, 385 OBP, and mm -hmm. that 30, 333 average. I just, I always feel comfortable taking Alvarez and, I think he's just in a perfect spot here. Yeah. Who's your HR play today, Crash? That is my HR call. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> nice. So, yep. <clears throat> As you mentioned, four hits and 12 at bats against him with two home runs, including one this year. Uh, but 22 of his 30 home runs have been against right handed pitchers. So Correct. he likes to face those righties. So I'm going to go with Jordan Alvarez. I love it. My HR call. Uh, is Will Smith. He homered yesterday. I think yep. he can homer ag again. It's in cores against Kyle Freeland. He's homered off him already. 900 OPS, 600 slugging, 300 o OBP, 300 average. So I think he's dialed in. I think it's, uh, mm -hmm. like you said, a hot day in, in uh, Denver. I think he takes advantage here and goes deep. Yeah. What do you have for stacks today, Crash? Um, well, we've, we've kind of mentioned it quite a bit. So Houston against Chris Flexen is one of them. Yeah. Uh, the Dodgers in Coors, that's the obvious chalk stack. Yeah. Atlanta, if that game holds up, I like them against Corbin Martin. Um, okay. and my GPP stack would be Colorado. So we'll see if Atlanta, if Atlanta doesn't play, then I'll be going to Colorado stack against Kershaw. I like it. Yeah. Um, for me, the, the obvious Dodgers, I mean, you just have to have Dodgers. I don't know how you don't play Dodgers today. 
Yeah. And then I also like Houston. I think Houston, you know, again, I have a tendency to, to pick on Flexen. And I mm-hmm. think Houston can smack them around. My uh, my GPP stack is St. Louis. Yeah. Um, I, I just That's think good. they're due. It's in Washington where you can pop it out of there. They have the big bats back in there now for the second day. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just, I really like them against Fetty here. Okay. I looked at them as well. Excellent. All right, let's switch to our two top prize picks plays of the day. Uh, who uh, You can give us both of them. Who are your top two today, Crash? Well, I've got two pitchers. I'm going to trust my gut here. I'm going to go with Ranger Suarez over five strikeouts. I was okay. going to go with the fantasy score for Joe Musgrove, but I just have a gut feeling about this Suarez play. Uh, over five strikeouts. And then my other play is Jordan Alvarez over one and a half total bases. I think he can definitely hit that number. Obviously, it hits a home run. He'll be over that number, but you can get a double or a triple or whatever, two singles, you know, a lot of ways to get to that. So over one and a half total bases is my other play for Alvarez. I like it. I have Alvarez. I have him over eight and a half fantasy score. So okay. we're on the same page there. Yeah. You know, it was under that nine number, which, you know, it doesn't scare me at all. I, I really think that's a, a solid play at eight and a half. Um, my pitch, I went with a, a different pitching play today than normal. I went with Ian Anderson under four K's. Mm-hmm. And the reason being is I, I've watched Anderson lately and he just has looked like dog doo doo. So he just yeah. is not uh, overpowering anybody. Granted, Arizona is not the best lineup, but they do make contact. So, Mm-hmm. Uh, Anderson under four and a half strikeouts is my second uh, pick for prize picks. Okay. And then we've got, of course, our boom sports, uh, two wagers of the day also to share here. And by the way, you can check all of these things out uh, in discord. We'll have all our plays put up there. Uh, you join us by going to dfscoachtalk.com. Sign up for any numerous amounts of packages that we have available. We would love to have you join the family. We have the best, uh, really the best Discord and members and and group in there. Very positive, very supportive. So definitely come and join us. Uh, We'd love to have you there. Um, Also, uh, you know, you can follow us on Twitter. And if you're watching on YouTube right now, uh, hit the thumbs up, please. That's super important to us hit the subscribe button, and hit the little alert up in the corner. That lets you know when any of our podcasts post. Plus, it also uh, you know, will we'll give you those alerts so you don't miss them because during the week, sometimes the, the pods are going up earlier in the morning. Uh, we're also going to start doing some live uh, feeds on, on YouTube, so mm-hmm. you're going to want that alert when we go live as well. So uh, we really do appreciate that. And you only have today and tomorrow – If you're one of our podcast listeners on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeart, Podbean, any of the landing spots for podcasts, take a second, give us the top rating, five stars, and a comment, and we'll have the randomizer. uh, Colin will put that through tomorrow night, and on Monday, somebody will (laughs) be given a free month of Coach Talk. And speaking of expecting to win something, I actually played the Mega Millions last night. Really? I I spent 10 bucks on the darn thing. And I don't know if it's possible, but I didn't get one number. Wow. Not one random number reached any of my numbers. Not one. That's so. And I just heard on the news that guess what? There's one ticket. Wow. And it's 1.6 billion. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope it's one wow. of our coach talk members. Yeah, that's insane. Man. Isn't that something? Yeah. So they can take a cash out. You know, if you choose that, you just right, get it all right. at once. It's yeah. like 900 million. Gee. It just shows up in your bank account that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So wow. congratulations to whoever cashed that sucker in. I had no, you know, it wasn't exciting for me when you're zero. Yeah. When you so, have no numbers on the ticket. Yeah, that's None insane. at all. Mm. So what do you have for your boom sports plays? What are they uh, today? 
Uh, like Houston at 195 or minus 195. Um, and I also like the under on eight implied runs in San Francisco um, in that cold, wet, you know, weather game. Yeah. Um, I think that both of those pitchers have done a decent job of not allowing a lot of runs and the bullpens are decent enough that they can hold them under that. Um, they almost went under that total last night, but then Chicago went crazy in the, uh, I think it was the ninth inning. So, yeah. yeah. Very good. Well, we almost had the same exact thing. I like Astros money line minus 195. I think you just lay the bucks down. Mm -hmm. As I feel great about that play. I know Seattle's has a great winning percentage of, of recent, but I think Houston has shown that they can handle them. And I like under eight in a game, but it's Pittsburgh Philly minus 110. I like the under in that game. I just like the matchup. Uh, yeah, the against the lineups that aren't that great. Yeah, yeah. Actually, they did go under. It was uh, six. It was four oh, to two. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Four to two is all the the final score was. So they did go under that number last night. So wow. I definitely think they can uh, do that tonight. Repeat it again tonight. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, terrific. That is it. We tried to get things cracking today because uh, we didn't want to uh, get too late because we have a lot of early games. So. Mm -hmm. definitely join us we've uh we give out full lineups on FanDuel and yahoo we give out a core and a clipboard on DraftKings. so you know we do the work for you we follow the weather we're uh we're checking everything out so dfscoachtalk.com certainly would love to have you join us there tomorrow's crash is day off so i will be solo in the morning i believe unless uh are you are you off tomorrow yeah, I am off tomorrow. I mean, okay. I I can I can I can do I can do a podcast if you want me to since we missed, you know, some days this week with the If internet. you want to, I know you don't since you said you didn't have drums, sometimes yeah. you do them on Sundays. Right. So. Yeah, I'm I'm off of drumming tomorrow, so I can definitely join you. All right, and, let's do that. Um, I believe that you took the first pick yesterday, right? For our two Yeah. Games. So, Don't remind me because my pitcher got hit with a line drive for God's sakes. Yeah. Yeah, I know that was rough. So um, you'll have first pick tomorrow. We'll go earlier than normal. Cause obviously the main slate starts at like 1 PM Eastern. And we'll, okay. since we'll go earlier and have time, why don't we do a bonus fan duel GPP tomorrow? Okay. Does that All sound right. good? All right. So we'll do that. We'll, we'll, uh, take a rain check for today and push yeah. it into tomorrow. Okay. Let's do that. So this way we're under 30 minutes on this pod. Everybody has a chance to listen to it before these early games. And we'll, Sounds good. we'll, uh, we'll do that tomorrow since you're going to uh, jump aboard. All right. All right, my friend, that is it. So enjoy everything today. It's such a busy day. You know, we have our first NFL podcast and our yeah. man, Stephen Miller debuting today. So yeah. excited about that. So keep an eye out for that late afternoon, early evening. It'll be uh, top 10 quarterbacks that crash and Steven rank. So that'll be up later today. If you're fired up for football, uh, we've, we've got MMA posting uh, certainly this afternoon for tonight's slate. So luckily it's not an early slate like it's been lately in MMA. Right. So we've got that going. And then of course, both golf tours and all the baseball. So I love weekends it is yeah, awesome it is all right thank you everybody uh really appreciate you listening as normal give us a quick thumbs up give us a, a comment a question uh, i'll be aboard there during the premiere if uh you want to ask anything live so thanks so much have a fantastic saturday and we'll be back again tomorrow when we look to crush it with mlb dfs prize picks and boom fantasy